Hey guys, it's Sam and Angus, and we just caught the Arctic monkeys. Yeah, yeah. They played the whole of AM, which I was really happy about, so I, I love their new album. It's yeah, really it's good. a smart album, isn't it's, it? Uh, it's like they've taken. I just want to. I'll just go over the album a little bit before we go into the actual yeah. live performance. But I feel like their new album has taken uh, a turn. It's less. It's a, it's a. It's a really good turn for the band because they're moving forward and uh, being being stuck where they are if they carry on producing music like that it'll stay good but they won't advance and they won't uh, they, they'll, they'll hold a position in the music industry that is like a, during a set time like for all their, their really big hits yeah absolutely they, they've got to move forward and, and I think music, this was the best better. way yeah. of, for them to move forward they've gone to kind of like more me melodic I'd say wouldn't you, yeah. wouldn't uh, you their, agree their new album is much more poppy than their old stuff it's still it's still just as smart like especially the lyrics I think the lyrics are probably better than they've ever been uh, it's still yeah. just as smart as their older stuff but they're definitely taking a turn towards um, becoming more than just uh, ju just a indie indie like fun full on band they're taking a lot more uh, time and to, to explore the dynamics in their music yeah and also, uh, I, I also noticed the variety in this new album. It seems like they, they've done, well, we all love it when bands, when bands stop, stop, stop emphasizing the genre and just start emphasizing making as good music as yeah, possible. We all think that's brilliant. That's definitely, uh, it's definitely yeah, shown. It was, in their, it was their demonstrated like in, this, in this new album. And, and sorry, yeah, um, go on, Sam, go on, Sam. I was just gonna say that as soon as, as soon, but, still like obviously their album's pretty new out yeah. uh, and things like that and last time arctic monkeys played around denmark uh, uh they uh, they were the, obviously this album wasn't out so so when when they played their big songs that everyone knows they're like they're really old classics yeah the, the classics yeah. right everyone was jumping around dancing yeah. it, like the crowd erupted I, I feel like their new album has almost split the crowd a little bit, uh, but not not in a not like just it's not not the crowd so much as the, their audience. Like not like live. It's, I'll go into in a second. It's not really impacted, but uh, uh, like their audience uh, with their new album has um, it's definitely made people reevaluate uh, how they see the Arctic Monkeys, which is great for them. For sure. I think it's really good for them moving forward as a band, like I said. But um, live. What they've done to sort of combat this separation that could happen, because a lot of people were fans of their old stuff, but I haven't really listened to their new album. Yeah. To combat that, they've plus that they've definitely worked their new album into a more audience-friendly and more uh, easily accessible. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a brilliant show of adaptability. Because uh, Ross Gilda, about this time, it's all about the party, right? Yeah. And uh, through it's through changing twenty this... past twelve, and they finished about ten minutes ago. So yeah. Well. Through changing through changing around the like the kind of. Their, their songs to, to fit to fit the party kind of ideology right now yeah. they've definitely demonstrated a, a whole load of kind of uh, flexibility and adaptability yeah and they I think I think tonight has been an incredible showcase of what they can be as well what, what they have the potential to, to be because they've played their new stuff so well that uh, they can at this point they can go in whatever direction they want because they've yeah. they've obviously got the, they've got the indie rock yeah. nailed and their new stuff has come out. Great yeah, as well, and so. it's great that Ross Gilder recognised that. Put it because the, these guys these guys are top of the billboard right. They're top of the kind of poster right now. Yeah, alongside the, the likes of well now Stevie Jack Wonder. White, Jack Stevie Wonder, Wonder yeah. and Dave and Alvin and Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. Uh, I think we that demonstrates that. We're not the only ones that see that see that they're going to be yeah. something really, really great.